Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing episode six of my cash stuffing small business sinking funds. So thank you guys so much for supporting this series and always um, leaving me comments, letting me know your feedback on it. I really appreciate it. So uh, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, but you love cash stuffing channels, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Feel free to leave me a comment and let's get started. Okay, and so we are going to be stuffing $100 today. And then I'm actually going to be doing a um, bill exchange at the end of the video. I'm super excited. I've never exchanged uh, these sinking funds. So this will be the first one. And we have a little over $500 that we need to exchange out. So I hope that you will stay tuned to the end of the video, especially if you like bill exchanges as well. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the envelopes. So you guys are looking at my new A6 planners that are available in both my Etsy shop and my shop website. They come in pink crock as well as black. Um, I know I had originally said I wasn't going to put them in the Etsy shop, but I decided to go ahead and do it just because um, I have really built my clientele on Etsy. So starting with the shop, it's like a new beginning. And, um, you know, there are some people that I believe are on Etsy that may not um, like necessarily watch me on YouTube. Like they found me on Etsy. So I didn't want to I want to just try to have both things on both platforms, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the stuffing. This is my um, sinking funds reference card where all these categories are already typed out with the amount. So I don't have to write this out every week. And I did decide to start offering you guys other colors in these. Um, you just have to request it. So if you like this card, but you don't necessarily like the color or you want a different color, if you just make a note for me in the personalization section or note section, I can do that for you. So we're gonna get started with nails. So nails is going to be getting $5. And I actually do have an update for you guys when it comes to nails because um, I am actually getting kind of tired of going to the nail shop. I know that's crazy because I'm a girly girl. I love the nail shop, but I'm getting kind of tired of going. And so, um, count this, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, I'm thinking about actually um, starting to purchase like some of those nail tips, like different people on Instagram have nail shops and stuff where you could purchase the tip and you just glue it on and then you can put the polish on yourself. You can get a little lamp, uh, LED light or whatever it's called. And I think I'm going to go that route because y'all, sometimes the tools, I think the tools are starting to annoy me. The tools that they use to do your nails, sometimes like they hurt me, you know? And, um, I was telling my friend earlier today, I was like, I think I'm just done with the nail shop, like for, for my nails. I think I want to go a different route, but I'll definitely keep y'all updated on that. Um, I do have a link in the description box for Madam Glam nail polish, which is what I use. Um, as their affiliate. So if y'all are interested, that link is in the box, but I'm thinking I'm going to go a different route with my nails. If not this month, probably next month. So office rent is going to get $5 for 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35. So 35. And, um, if you are keeping up with this series, you already know, but just in case you are new to this series, my office is currently at my parents' house. They are empty nesters, so I rent out one of their rooms. Shipping is going to be getting $20. And I'm actually going to be pulling out of this envelope this week because I need some more um, mailers I don't have, I'm not buying my, my mail, mailers in bulk anymore and I'm having to replace them like all the time and it's just getting annoying. So 
and shipping I have 20 40 60 80 1 20 140 So I'm going to be pulling out of this one. Um, actually, if not today, probably tomorrow, I need to buy some more mailers for the shop. Office supplies is next and office supplies is going to be getting $10. So right now, my most um, used office supply is computer ink. So that is what I need money for the most. So in office supplies, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Vendors is next, and Vendors is going to be getting $2. So I think I was telling y'all in my last video that um, what I plan on using this money for is like for trying out samples and, and things like that. When you work with vendors overseas, they will send you samples of materials and they just charge for shipping, and shipping's not that much. It's like $30, $20 or $30. So that is what I'm going to be using this envelope for. And so in vendors, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. I hope y'all had a happy Valentine's Day while I'm at it. I was supposed to say that at the beginning of the video, but yeah, I hope y'all had a, a great Valentine's Day um, with loved ones, where there's significant other, sibling, best friend. I just hope y'all had a, a great day yesterday, full of love. And if not, it's not too late. Equipment is going to get 10. So, in equipment, we now have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Next, I have jewelry. Um, jewelry is going to be getting $5. And of course, um, just as a reminder, everything you see in the video has a link in the description box. Um, I actually have been getting quite a few comments about this tray and I wasn't, um, I think I was linking the materials I used for this I, and I think I stopped, but I probably will start back linking it just because I've been getting quite a few um comments and questions about it so this was a wooden tray y'all and what I did was spray paint it white and then there is a marble spray paint on Amazon that comes out just like this so I didn't have to like hand stencil this the spray paint comes out like this so you gotta like you know go do it in the grass or on the concrete or a trash bag or something and it'll come out like this and you can get this marble in different colors like they have a pink marble a gray marble and then i just went with black so that was how i achieved this look so in jewelry i had 5 10 15 20 25 30 35. And then lastly, for this um, section of envelopes is going to be my shop supplies. So this is gonna be like vinyl, paper, 
um, card stock, things like that. And it's going to getting $10. So we have a total of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 dollars, which is pretty nice. I think I have um I think I've reached my goal in almost all these envelopes, if not all of them from this category. So, um I have my business thinking funds broken up into four categories, y'all. So, these envelopes are considered my buffer envelopes. And basically what that means is that I pay for these things already on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis. And so these envelopes are to help me out in the event I have um, gone over my normal monthly budget that I give myself for my business expenses, um, which I may have to go up on again, which is good and bad. Like obviously I don't wanna go up on my budget and spend more money, but it's a good thing because that means that the shop is growing. So, um, but that's what these envelopes are for. They are buffer envelopes to help me pay for these expenses um, when I am over budget or when I have really unexpected expenses that come up in the shop. So the next category that we are gonna get into is going to be called my future category. And I have everything in order here on the reference card. Okay, y'all, so the other three categories of my business thinking funds are housed in this black A6 binder. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out just because that's what I like to do. And put that to the side. And we'll go ahead and start with my future category which are going to consist of Patreon, employees, and my second shop. So for Patreon, we're going to be stuffing $2. I also like to give you guys updates on the shop and things like that in this video. So the shop updates that I have so far is that, as y'all know, mom, has come on board. Um, she helps me out in the shop, so I started paying her. Last week was my first week paying her, and I don't know, I'm super excited about it. So that's one big shop update. Another shop update is that custom orders are now available on the shop website, as well as the Etsy shop. So initially I only had custom orders available on Etsy, but I figured out how to do it on the website, so y'all could go either way with that. So in Patreon, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. So I'm so excited about those new updates. Um, I also recently ran a poll. I appreciate if y'all participated in that. I recently ran a poll asking you guys um, how you felt about me bringing back some other videos I used to do a while ago, which was I used to do my sinking funds update uh, video separately with a bill exchange. And then I also used to do monthly budget videos separately and almost unanimously y'all voted for, for me to bring those back. So um, that will start in the month of March. So I'm again, excited about that too, because it just brings some variety um, to the channel. So I'm excited about that. So in employees, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. So what that does mean for these videos is that they won't be every week. Um, they'll be, I think, two weeks out of the month. So instead of me stuffing these every week, I'll be stuffing them, I think, in the second and third week of each month. And then the last envelope in this category is going to be my second shop, which is going to be getting $5. And we have five, 10, wait, <laughs> five, 10, 15, 25, 35.
Okay, y'all, so the next category will be my just in case category. Okay, y'all, so starting with my just in case category, um, these are expenses that are not like in a weekly or monthly type of budget or anything like that, but just in the event these things come up, I'll have an envelope for them with some funds in it. So affiliate marketing is my first envelope and it is going to get a dollar. So as an affiliate marketer of quite a few companies, um, for the most part, they will send me things free of charge. But in the event I wanna purchase something they didn't send me and try it out, then I'll use this envelope to do so. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that is what this envelope is for. Next is my education envelope and it's going to get $2. And this envelope is for um, continuing to educate myself on this line of work as well as um, just my craft in general and creating and things like that. So in education, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. This also could go toward like books, like me purchasing books. Um, I actually may purchase like an ebook in the future if I don't take an actual course. Cause sometimes I don't really have time like that, but I could definitely purchase like an ebook and you know, in my downtime, read on it, read up on it and continue to build my knowledge. My YouTube envelope is basically for like YouTube equipment and things like that. Um, I do want to buy a camera and that will actually help me get back into my shop vlogs because I really want to get back to that again. But the vision I have for it would be like y'all actually get to see more of my face in those videos as well as like more of like my like what is like just the entire day. So like my day to day, hour to hour situation. Um, but I need to get better lighting in my shop office. So the lighting is not that great. And um, if I could buy either like a ring light or just another camera that I could do like better editing on, that would be great. So on YouTube, I have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35. And the last envelope is my Instagram envelope. Um, which originally was for like me potentially potentially wanting to promote a post which costs money but i might repurpose that envelope we'll see and instagram is getting one dollar for one two three four five six and seven So that is it for um, these envelopes. And if you guys like these envelopes, again, they're available in the shop. This is berry pink. And then I'll, the previous envelopes were powder pink and baby pink. So the last category that we have to stuff is going to be my annual payments category. And I'm gonna go get those right now. All right, y'all. So these envelopes are considered my annual payments envelope because these are bills or things that I pay for uh, once a year. So my P.O. box is getting $5. And I actually don't know when this payment comes up. I want to say the summer because I started my shop in April of last year. And I think I got a P.O. box like the next month or something. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35. So... I may not have um, enough money to pay for the bill by that time. It's it's less than $200, it's, it's, it's less than that. Um, 
but if I don't have enough money for the bill, then what I'm going to do is just budget the bill in my like monthly budget, um, budget for it, continue to save in this envelope. And then later on this year, hopefully upgrade my PO box to a larger box if they allow me to, which will probably be about $200. If not, then in 2023, I'll have the money for the bill. So that's the plan for that. My subscriptions is getting $5. So the subscription that I'm probably going to pay for first, I think in the last video I said HP Inc. Or maybe I said Canva. I'm not sure which one, but those two subscriptions I will be paying for in the near future. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35. I'm so sorry if y'all can hear my phone buzzing. And then the very last envelope is going to be my planners. So I buy planners once a year. Um, my budget planner, as well as like a faith planner, which is not a business expense, but I just included in the category. So I hope to save about $250 so that by December of this year, I'll have this money and I'll be able to um, buy my planners using this envelope. And if I need to go up on the amount toward the end of the year, I will. So in planners, I have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35. And the last thing that we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and do a little bill exchange. I'm super excited. So I hope that you stay tuned for that. And I will go ahead and grab that money and then we'll get started. Okay, y'all. So starting with my nails, we are going to exchange out for $30. And when I exchange, guys, I do not mix money. Um, like I don't pull out of here and then put it over there. And then I just my brain can't handle that. So <laughs> I just go to two separate banks. Um, take out what I need to stuff then from my second bank take out what I need to exchange they're pretty close to one another it's not that big of a deal and keeping things separate works better for me so in nails we're taking out 5 10 15 20 and grabbing a 20 and then taking out 5 and 10 for a 10 and so in nails, we have $35. For our office rent, I'm also taking out 30. So 5, 10, 15, 25, and 30. I'll take this five. And did I miscount that? 5, 10, 15. Oh, I did. 5, 10, 15, 20. And grab a 20. And then 10 and grab a 10. So in office rent, we now have $35. Or we still have $35. For shipping, I will be exchanging $100. So 20, 40, 60, 81 for 100 and now I have 140 again I'm gonna pull out this envelope probably this week for office supplies we'll be exchanging for 50 so and I probably will go ahead and pull a 20 in exchange for 20 as well so 10 20 30 40 50 grab a 50 and then I'm gonna take these two tens and come over here to the side where I have my money and grab a 20. So I have $70. And the money that I take out guys from the envelopes, I just have it over here to the side in a little stack, just like that. 
vendors is going to get ten dollars so two four six eight and ten and i will grab a ten and what i'm doing when i do that is just trying to keep the 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 crispier bills the newer bills so i have 10 11 12 13 14. all right equipment is going to be getting 50 dollars exchanged i'm also again pull a pull a 20. so 10 20 30 40 50. I'm going to come over here and grab a 20 and take out these two 10s. So now we have $70. Jewelry is going to get $30 exchanged. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And then five, 10, and grab a 10. So I have 35 in jewelry. Shop supplies is going to be getting $50 exchanged as well as pulling a 20 from over there. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Grab this 50, come over here and pull these tens to the side and grab a 20 for $70. So this binder is now complete. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black binder and we will do the exchanging in that one as well. All right, y'all, so we'll get started with Patreon and it is going to be getting a 10. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. I hope I did that right, yep. So now I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Employees also is getting a 10. So I'm gonna keep those. Those are fresh as well as those. So now we have two, four, six, eight, and 10 for 14. The second shop is going to be getting $30. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And then 5 and 10 for a 10. So I have 35. Affiliate marketing is going to get a five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And that gives me seven. Education is gonna be getting a 10. So I'm going to be keeping four ones. I'm gonna pull out the best ones that I have. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. And so I have 14. YouTube is going to be getting 30. So 5, 10, 15, 20 for a 20. And then 5 and 10 for a 
10. And I have 35. I'm gonna actually grab this 20 over here on the side because that one's really old. So it's just my thing, y'all. Like if I see a better bill, I'm taking it. Um, Instagram is gonna be getting five. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Four of five. And we have seven. My P.O. box is gonna be getting 30. Five, 10, I like that one. 10, 15, 20. And then five and 10 for a 10. So I have $35 in P.O. box. Subscription is also gonna get 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5 and 10 for a 10. And I have 35 in subscriptions. And last but not least, planners is also going to get 30. So, ooh, some rough looking fives. Keep that one. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20 for a 20, and then two fives for a 10. It's a rough looking 10 as well. I probably will go ahead, yep, and exchange that one out. So this one has 35 as well. So that is going to conclude the exchange portion as well as the video. Thank y'all again for coming back so much for another week. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this money and we're going to be taking all of it back to the bank. So I hope to see y'all again on Friday for my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.